What's up, Planeswalkers? Theric6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today, uh, I'm going to be doing a viewer suggestion. Someone uh, suggested that I should do some more budget decks since uh, Kaladesh was recently added and the meta has shifted slightly. Not that there are new decks being played, but the, the decks that are being played have gotten worse. <laughs> so, um, just like my previous um, budget decks, I'm only including four rares. Technically, that's not true. Um, I figured... It was fair game to use anything that um, the Kaladesh update gave us for free. So, for example, we're running a single Blooming Marsh because we everyone should have that. Um, I'm also running four Walking Blisses because, again, everyone should have that. Um, the Kaladesh update gave you all of these cards. If you don't have these, um, contact Wizard Support because you should. <laughs> um, anyway, I will just go through the four rares that I decided to add to this black-green Explore deck. I went with uh, two Deadeye Trackers. Um... They're a good early game, essentially, as blockers against the red decks, um, as well as some fine late game against um, the, the control decks that you can keep repeatedly, uh, one, exiling their cards against something like a Scarab God deck, but two, growing a, a large body. Um, we are also playing one Emperor's Vanguard and one Path of Discovery, because those are the cards I had. Luckily, um, and this this is why I think um, Explorer is a pretty, uh, pretty good budget choice, um, most of the cards... Um, that are common and uncommon are fine, and they serve as the back uh, the backbone. Um, the rares just make the deck better, um, and I'll I'll talk about the inclusions um, for rares and even mythics um, after I'm done talking about the the main deck. So I'm running in my uh, one drop slot three duresses, three fatal push, and uh, two enter the unknown. Enter the unknown is essentially just a, another way to get some incidental life gain or make sure you can smooth your draws better, and technically you can ramp with it as well. Um, Duress is kind of just necessary against the control decks, since this, this deck definitely has a better time against the aggro decks, um, and control, uh, it, it lists a little bit, so that's, that's why I'm running the Duress's main board. Three Fatal Push, because aggro sucks, and we hate aggro, and Fatal Push kills them pretty easily. Um, then for our two drops, we're running four Seeker Squire, four Merfolk Branchwalker, and four Wild Growth Champion. The Wild Growth Champions are the reasons this deck is uh, is actually pretty good against the uh, aggro deck. Each time you explore, not only does this get bigger to be a better blocker, but you gain three life. And like two activations of Wild Growth Walker um, can easily spell doom for your, your mono red opponent. Um, Branch Walker is the more aggressive of the uh, two men explore cards. And Seeker Squire is the more defensive one. Obviously, they're the same cost and their stats are just switched. So um, they're, both, they're both good on their own. Not much to say about it. In the three-dress slot, I'm running a single, to, or not single, but four Tashana's Wayfinder. Um, this card can be switched out for a better card, but for right now, this card is fine. It does its job. <laughs> it's not great. The rare version is much better, so um, if you're, you know, I'll talk about it now. If you're looking, oh, I don't even own it, that's why. If you're looking to add um, some rare cards, goodness me. like jade light or something if you're looking to add rare cards then jade light ranger is what you want to add like because it explores twice this card is so much better than uh than tishana's wayfinder so this is like the first craft if you're looking to make specifically this explore deck um on four we have four lurking chupacabras Two Ravenous Chupacabras. I didn't realize we were running two Chupacabras. <laughs> um, one Emperor's Vanguard, one Path of Discovery. The Lurking Chupacabra is fantastic as removal. Um, it can also be an okay way to get rid of um, things like Hazaret. Um, because it's minus two, minus two. Doesn't count as, uh, doesn't count as them uh, being destroyed. You just make them go to the graveyard. Ravenous Chupacabra is just to kill things that your opponent plays. Has nothing to do with synergy, but it's a good card. It could theoretically be placed with um, Brass Contempt. Um... Emperor's Vanguard is a fine later uh, later turn drop. Um, we don't want too many 4 drops in the deck because we are only running 22 lands. Um, but having a repeatable source of Explore is very good. Path of Discovery just makes our creatures better. I wouldn't run more than 2 of this. Um, Emperor's Vanguard, I could, I could justify running 4. But I wouldn't run more than 2 of Path of Discovery because they don't do anything on their own. Um, and losing, losing tempo on turn 4 to play this isn't great against um, the more aggressive decks. Luckily, we do have a, a better early curve. And then 4 Walking Blisses, because this card is really good. <laughs> Literally, the only reason it's in the deck is because it's, it's really powerful. 
I'm running one of each of the deserts in these colors, just because it's nice to cycle. We don't always need that many lands. Um, as I said, one Blooming Marsh because we got it for free, and one Foul Orchard because we're not running too much um, double. Chupacabra is the only uh, double black source. We don't need necessarily a ton of um, mana fixing dual lands. So that's, that's what I'm running there. And let's talk a little bit about some um, optional choices. If you're coming up against a lot of um, single target remover, uh, Blossoming Defense is fine. Cast Down is good against uh, creature decks that aren't running a lot of legends. So if you're running up against a lot of the green white um, mid range deck, don't run Cast Down because they have things like Shalai and Lyra. Um, but if you're going against like Merfolk, you can kill a lot of their stuff. Dusk Legion Zealot, if you find yourself just like wanting to cycle through your deck a little bit faster, this card's fine. Gifted Aetherborn, if you just hate, hate, hate Mono Red, play this. Um, I would even say like play this instead of the um, the Merfolk Branch Walker. Um, not only does that make it so you're more black heavy and you don't have to stretch your mana out as much, but also it makes it so that you have um, more defensive creatures than offensive creatures. Uh, da -da -da. Glint, Leaf, Glint Sleeve Siphoner is good if you're facing up a lot against control decks because you just need to draw a lot of cards. Um, and this is an early drop that has menace. Okay, so Freebooter, another card to choose against um, a control opponent. Um, as you can see, you're not going to want to add most of these cards because they don't help the explore mechanic in general. But they are cards that you can run if for some reason you don't have the wild cards to make any of the main deck cards. Um, these are fine fill-in slots. Moment of Craving, uh, it's good removal against Agro. Sadly, it's not as good because of the dumb three mana goblin, because it has three toughness, but uh, not really anything we can do about that. Ixali's Diviner is essentially just an even more defensive um, two mana explore. It's awful, essentially, against control. That's why it isn't in the main deck, but if you just really need to live against the Agro matchup, put that in. I don't actually like Shadowed Caravel. Um, I know a lot of um, a lot of Explore decks run it. I don't think it's very good because it doesn't do anything the turn it comes out. Um, and it takes a little bit for it to be worth the crew cost. So, um, Doomfall, it's good against Control. <laughs> Essence of Expression is, I would say, just a sideboard card. So if you do end up trying to take this to best of three, this is just a sideboard card to make sure that you are able to um, have good removal for, eh, I don't know, like a three-job goblin or something. <laughs> Golden Mize, another um, just sideboard card. Sadly, it's just not even great anymore because so many um, X3s are now in the format that just kill you. Vrastic's Contempt is, as I said, uh, a card that can replace Chupacabra, the um, Ravenous, not the Lurking. Um, and it's a good card, but I wouldn't try to craft for it. If you have them, feel free to add them, but there are more important crafts like Jade Light. Eldritch Reborn, I just really like this card, okay? <laughs> It's good. It's good against control. If you if you need more spots um, in your sideboard, taking this to best of three, this card's fine. Um, same with uh, like Torment of Scarabs. That's fine. Vraska. If you own them, play them because they're really good. They don't like do anything for your um, your like game plan. But you know, having having a nice six drop is great. You might need to start running twenty three lands um, if you do end up running Vraskas. But luckily, um, Explore is. Very good at fixing its draws because of the nature of the mechanic. So enough of me battling. Let's go ahead and get in some games. Um, but yeah, as I said, this this deck um, primarily feeds on the um, other creature decks, um, especially the aggro decks because of how low the curve is going up against Banana Man 23 um, and how much life you're able to gain with um, the wild growth. It does struggle a bit of, against control. So if you're facing a lot of control, it's possible that you'll want to cut some of the removal and add in more hand attack cards oh lost legacy is another one that um that you might want to run so i think this is a pretty good hand i've got a turn one turn two and um turn three so yeah that's a fun keep depending on what my opponent plays as their land will determine no i almost ended the turn um will determine whether or not we play Merfolk or Seeker Squire. If if they're playing uh, control colors, then we'd want to play Merfolk. I have no idea. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Sure, so I'm going to go with the defensive one. 
and I would like to draw a land. But if the top isn't a land, then I can just put it in the graveyard. Right. That's that's one of the reasons we're we are able to run um, so few lands as well as having a low curve. Right. Maybe they're just some weird version of mono black. I don't actually knew. Fatal push, sure. Incredibly rude, but sure. Sh what the heck? I mean, do I take that trade? I guess I do take this trade. Because, like, I don't need this to get bigger, right? Like, I have other things. So that is unfortunate that I did not draw land. So I'll explore and hope that I do. I'd love a forest. Hey, I got a forest. Which means... I can enter the unknown. And if I get another forest, I can do it again. Um, and if not, that's fine. Um, I'm, hmm, I'm actually going to keep that in my library. Because next turn I can play it and then uh, enter the unknown. So, Ugh. Dumb in turn sequence button. If you, like, press end turn, uh, this one, between, between uh, steps, it'll, like, not register that you did that. That's sketchy as all hell. But I'm... I'm really tempted to block, but at the same time, I'm going to have Wild Growth Champion. So, like, I don't care about losing two there, because with that... Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not blocking that. What, what, is my, what is my opponent playing? I'm so incredibly confused. Hmm. I should have done that second main. I assume they have a removal spell. Yeah, so I should have done the second main. Um, attacked with this first, see if they were going to remove it, and then played this and uh, entered on it. Hmm. I'm going to attack. I'm still going to attack first. Um, okay, so, I mean, it looked like they didn't have anything just by how quickly that happened. So I'm going to buff up my wild growth. Um, I have no idea what my opponent is doing, so I kind of want to keep that on top. Um, and even if I, like, even if I do, I'll be able to still play Walking Ballista. Um, so I'll, I'll keep that on top. So as you can see... Um, one of the reasons that we're bad against control is because we do run out of cards. Okay, you're on four. Gonna brask is this? Walk the plank, sure. I assume he's gonna attack me. Bone picker? Okay. Okay. Well, that duress is looking a lot worse now. So it's just some weird, like, drain deck. That, frankly, I don't think is very good. I mean, I'm still going to duress them. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah, play Walking Blister for one. I need to attack at this point. Hopefully I draw a swamp next turn. I can kill his bone picker. I assume he's just going to attack with bone picker. If I get a forest, I can buff Walking Blister. Hey, I got exactly what I needed. It gave me just what I needed. Something about someone who cares. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, I should note that I'm not going to be adding um, Explore to the rotation. Um, this is just showing a different deck. A nice nice budget deck. 
Um, notably, this doesn't actually have a lot of college cards because um, Explorer is a very um, like internal mechanic. I don't want to say parasitic because I don't think it is necessarily. Like you don't have to be running only Explorer, but when you're running an Explorer deck, obviously you have to run a certain um, critical mass of Explorer. So my turn. Give me something good. That's nothing good. But luckily, I can uh, buff Walking Ballista. Do I want to attack with my Merfolk Ranch Walker? Yes, I do. Would I rather attack with Ravn... No, I would like to attack with Branch Walker because it would, if both of these block, then it kills both. And if they don't, then I'm going to start killing my opponent. I do need to kill my opponent at some point, so... Double block, single block, what... You know, this game is so laggy. Cool. cool. So my opponent now has no board. I can start attacking. Uh, it's going to be really lame when they play some sort of huge creature, even though I've seen nothing but uh, low-cost cards. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, add a counter. And ping me for two. But looks like they don't have much, so I will I will whittle them down over nine turns. Do you have a plan? You don't. Stop drawing lands. I run twenty-two lands. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I noted that. <laughs> Could I hold my lands? Yes. Do I need to? Not really. So I have six of my 22 lands. Okay. Well, at least I get to cycle this. And I'm cycling it before uh, combat because I might draw... Oh wait, no, I'm only running two under the unknowns. But, yeah, still. Also, this should have been... Why? Why did it use that auto-tap? I have m way more green, and a no double green in the deck. Why? Okay, my opponent is uh, maybe not realizing they can do something. Cool. Alright, I'll attack. And I, I will play the Chupacabra. Like, I'm assuming my opponent has Fatal Push? Maybe? No, because when they when they killed Walking Ballista, they still had another card in their hand, I think. Unless the card in their hand was a land, and now they have the Fatal Push. But, not entirely sure. Oh, every day. Every day with the Sirens. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll the rest, see what it is. Oh man, I cannot wait till I move out of the city. And not have to deal with these Sirens every day. <laughs> what the heck is this? Sure, I guess. No, it's only five turns. Four turns. It's only four turns. I can do math. Shut up. <laughs> but I didn't get anything. Hey, it's a Tashana's way. But stop. Stop tapping. E sure. I guess it doesn't actually matter since I'll only have three mana. And like nothing on three mana I need two green for. If I was running Jade Light, then I would need two green. Oh, yay. A land. Whatever. So, the, by the way, the reason I did this instead of waiting um, to, like, use Chupacabra is because th this puts them on a one-turn clock. Still on a one-turn clock. Cool, cool. I like the conceit animation, but man, does it lag the game. I I just want... Oh, I can click once, and it does do the thing that I was complaining about the other day. Awkward. Um, I really, really want to have the option to turn off a lot of the graphic things when I'm recording, because my computer is garbage right now. <laughs> Probably getting a new computer this autumn, winter. -ish. It's. Is that all you got? <sighs> I 
I can't wait for this person to be playing a really annoying deck. I think I'm going first. Yeah. I think the deck loads in first. Um, I mean... One drop, two drop... Stuff to do afterwards. Seems like a good keep to me. Ugh. The, the cards are still sticky. They're not as sticky as they were. But they're still sticky. I, I... For whatever reason, I keep wanting to pass a turn when I have that as my turn one play. Okay. Let's see what my opponents are on. If they're on control, I'll play this first. So I'm going to be playing this first, because the life gain is not going to matter nearly as much as getting a um, decent threat under removal, or under um, counter spells. Um, so I actually would like this not to be a land, just so it's a three. Dang. Yeah, I really wanted it to be um, three power, but this is fine. Um, so next turn, I will probably Branch Walker. Yeah. Okay, Branch Walker will be under, uh... I actually think that I Seeker Squire, maybe? Nah, I should, I should Branch Walker. Sorry, sorry about, sorry about that awful sound. <laughs> um... The, the reason I'm doing this is because, um, no matter what, Branch Walker will grow. Why am I saying Branch Walker? Wild Growth Walker <laughs> will grow. All of these cards are the same! Um, this is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I, I didn't expect that at all. Hmm. What do I want to do in this situation? I... Come on, man. Um... Uh, I'll Seeker Squire, I guess. See what I have. I'm fine with this trade as well. They probably have a seal away? Sure, I'm fine with that trade. Um, do I want to play Walking Ballista? I do. That's, that's the great thing about Walking Ballista. There's like never a bad time to play it. Okay, four mana. Chupacabra. Sure. I'm assuming it's going to kill this. Yep. Hmm. My opponent is incredibly rude. Give me at least a second to think. Um, I want to keep this um, up. So I think I'm going to attack with these two. Yeah. Why didn't I use Fatal Push? I might need it for something else. I can start exploring with this, which is nice. So it looks like it's some form of Esper, esper Control.
So, I mean, I'm definitely going to uh, wait until he activates that. Um, he'll probably try and take something of mine. Hmm. I think I'm gonna Merfolk Branch Walker. I also need it to tap two freaking forests. <laughs> Why did you give me land stack? Um, Alright, cool, end turn. Um, sure. I am going to turn off. The emotes. It does. It legit doesn't bother me. But like, I don't know if you guys want to just keep seeing that nonsense. <laughs> I do. I know. I know. Um, BM emote spamming does get on some people's nerves. I, I find it kind of funny that like they're taking their time to just emote when it's not. It's not doing anything. Let's see what my opponent has here. I'm still gonna get rid of those. Don't mind if I do. Do I want to kill my own thing? No. As I said, the deck does suffer a bit uh, against control. Weird that it didn't attack. That's gone. So now all I need is a lot of ex uh, exploring at the exact same time, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I, I've essentially lost. Um, this is why you really want to run Vrasus Contempt. Um, so if you do have Vrasus Contempt, play it. <laughs> I don't know what kind of deck my opponent is playing. Um, it does appear that they're playing like a pretty decked out one. Um, I'm not going to accuse my opponent of um, using real money on packs, but they do have a lot of rare lands, which unless they were actively trying to make this deck like from the beginning, um, I do find it a little bit hard to believe that they were able to open that many. Um, I'll take five here. Like. I'm so surprised I'm so surprised that they're not attacking. Dang. <sighs> Is there anything in the deck that can get me out of this? No. I, I ran through it. I actually have no way of uh of efficiently killing Scarab God. So, I'm going to save everyone some time and just concede. Tisk tisk. Yeah, I did say that um, if you're running up against a lot of control, um, I would not suggest running this um, unless you do have um, things like Jade Light, which help you by having two explorers, um, as well as um, Vraska's Contempt. Um, you don't need the actual Vraska's, um, but they do help a lot. And, not and, but if you are going up against a ton of aggro, Play the deck. It, it, it is actually like pretty good against um, aggro. Well, now I want to make a planeswalker deck. Just a mean planeswalker deck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm going to be doing uh, another one of these probably. I don't know if I'm going to wait uh, an entire week to do something, but at, at least one more rotation. I'll probably uh, upload a merfolk one. Um, I don't have the stuff for vampires, which is hilarious. 
but I also don't have a lot of wild cards, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys liked this uh, budget look at uh, the Green Black Explorer deck. I, I do think it's actually uh, a good deck. It is also, it's kind of fun um, being able to filter through so many of your cards. I like it. Um, go ahead and let me know by tapping that like button, adding a subscription to your mana pool, and casting a comment at the comment section down below. And until next time, all will be one. And, uh, you know, just spamming the emotes. <laughs>